Hey guys, welcome to your Pick a Card Twin Flame Soulmate reading, energy reading for karmic energies and moving out of 2020 and into 21. Here are your decks. I'm just going to go over them slowly. We have first the ayahuasca necklace. That is actually the plant of ayahuasca. Deck number two, we have the tree. Deck number three, we have the mushroom. And deck number four, we have the agate. So close your eyes and meditate and take a look at the grid work that I've created. Go by your gut instinct and we're going to get started. Timestamps are below. And this is the ayahuasca uh, necklace that I have. It's really beautiful. This is actually the plant of Mama Ayahuasca. So this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what is going on for you in the karmic energy this is your energy update okay now i'm doing this because i'm gonna take a look at what is going on with your person so this is your person and what we're going to do is we're going to see a comparison between you and between the karmic energies and between uh your connection and what's happening okay so just close your eyes and think of your person. Obviously, if you're watching the video, so you can't really close your eyes. Um, but yeah, just take a deep breath. Connect to the energies. Whew, thank you, Pachamama. We are going to connect now. This is for group pile number one, please. Everyone that is connected to pile number one, what is going on with their person? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with their person and the karmic energies and themselves? Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. What is going on with pile number one's person in regards to the mind space uh, towards karmic energy? Thank you. What is going on with pile number one's person when it comes to their mind space towards them? Who's watching the video? Thank you. What is going on with pile number one, please, in the heart space towards the karmic? Wow, some energy, guys. Ending of cycles here, okay? What's going on with pile number one's person's heart space towards the person watching? Thank you. What is going on with pile number one in regards to their action, their intentions towards karmic energy. Okay, make sure you can still see that, perfect. And what is going on with the, um, their intention and action towards the person watching? And what is going on in regards to the outcome for the karmic? What is going on in the outcome in regards to the person watching? Thank you. Wow. Okay. Whew. So what is the uh, main energy that the person, uh, pile number one's person is in right now? Okay. All right, you guys. So this is what I'm seeing for pile number one. What's happening is your person is looking for a new beginning. Somehow they want a, a brand new stable beginning in their life in regards to love. So what is going on with the karmic energies? We're going to start there. The karmic energies, and we're going to clarify, the karmic energies right now in the mind space is starting to take that blindfold off, starting to see very clearly what is happening in their world. Also seeing that they, in the heart space, that they need to really close out certain cycles. And um, 
I'm just making sure my camera's going out. It is, okay. So they're wanting to close out cycles here. They're moving on slowly but surely. They have to be very steady and very methodical and very careful is what I'm getting. It's a very tricky situation. I feel there's a mother energy that's attached here um, in regards to um, somebody that's already incarnated that's having, um, trying to support your person but also um, having a hard time understanding what's really happening. There's a lot of regret and sadness here that's happening because I feel it's a disappointment to mother energy, okay? We're going to clarify that message in a bit, but that is exactly what's happening. And so they're really feeling heavy in their heart space. They know that the cycle has to happen, but they're they're starting to gain a lot of enlightenment now because their blindfold has come off. And this is like really showing up here, moving away from karmic energies. It's been quite the process, step by step by step. But this person is actually realizing that they're getting off this path. If you notice here, these, pa these little coins this person is not following this path anymore and is actually taking his horse and moving away and making his own path with this pentacle okay i need a glass of a uh, drink of water so here what's going on with um the person that's that's watching the video things haven't been manifesting because of this sad energy that your person has been in very disappointed knowing that this is the ten of cups that this is god's love okay knowing that this is this was manifested i feel like for some of you um you know you're absolutely in no communication at all or very little what's happening is that there the, it had manifested it was happy there was a lot of abundance here but this person is definitely missing this and recognizing now they are going through a massive tower moment, a massive awakening, okay? Here's that pentacle again, and we've got a lot of stable pentacles that are coming through. We have obviously the ace of pentacles, this pentacle, but all of these pentacles. And it's funny because Spirit's showing me the color of this pentacle is self-esteem, which is yellow, which is the uh, solar plexus, right? Self-esteem, confidence, knowing yourself as a soul, not as a human being, but who you came here to be. This person is actually having a massive awakening with the solar plexus pentacle. It's actually being grounded into the earth plane. So let's clarify here. Let's see what is going on. We're going to compare the heart space now because they really want a stable beginning. So actually, Spirit's bringing me to guide this because this is gold too. See how this pentacle is gold? This one's gold. This one's gold. This is more orange. It's got sacral. But it's got still gold in the middle of it. Uh, you know, because there's some passion that's in there with that uh, chakra. But let's take a look here at this uh, Ace of Pentacles. What is the stable beginning towards karmic energy for pile number one's person? Towards the karmic energy. What is this new beginning towards the karmic? Wow. <laughs> Ending toxic situations, okay? So this person knows that this is a very toxic situation and knowing that they have to end it. Okay, now let's take a look at what is going on with uh, you <laughs> that's watching the video and your person in regards to a new beginning with you. Person that's watching. Thank you. So this person is fighting their way to the top of the mountain. Okay, they're being a little defensive, but I love it in this deck because this person is just in their Zen place and really standing their ground. I feel this person is defending you. Clarify seven of wands. I feel they're standing their ground and defending your connection is what I'm getting. Yeah, they've gained a lot of enlightenment. Look, they're working really hard and standing their ground and look at all these pentacles again. So they're really grounding, working hard and staying very focused on what they desire, standing their ground. It's not a defensive like um, they're closed off to you. It's a defensive standing up for you is what I'm getting because they've gained a lot of enlightenment in this situation. They may, again, not be coming forward only because they're still dealing with this situation over here. So let's clarify here the two of swords. What are they seeing clearly in the mind space to the karmic? Yeah, they're two of wands upright. They're still contemplating and how to move forward. So they know that they need to move forward. Clarify the two of wands, please. Yeah, they're really juggling here. They do see things clearly, but they're not entirely sure how to move forward. They know in their heart space that they need to close off this cycle with the karmic energy. And I love how that, yeah. And they know that they need to uh, give to the situation of ending the cycle. More pentacles, you guys, and more orange and yellow that's coming through, okay? What do they know that they have to give and balance the situation? I'm also seeing an eight here before I pick up that card. I'm also seeing an eight, Look at this infinity. So if eights are very significant to you, that's very important. Um, 
that's also the sign of abundance we have a lot of clarity coming through okay so they know that they have to give to the situation they want something balanced they want something reciprocal that's why they're ending in their heart the situation they're gaining a lot of truth in their heart space okay Perfect. So let's see now what is going on with the karmic in regards to slowly moving away. These are these, their actions. This is their intention towards the, the karmic. What is going on with the night? Yeah, they're ending overindulgence. They're ending things that no longer serve them. So if you notice here in the heart space towards you, they're sad because they know that this was spirit's love. You know, this was something very sacred. And this one here, what's happening is uh, they're ending the nine of cups. So this is material abundance, right? This isn't really spirit's love. This is a love that, you know, it's fine. Everybody gets to the certain point, but humanity is actually moving into a 10 of cups situation. So this is, you know, yeah, like this is good. This is nice. It's okay. But your person has outgrown that as well. Okay. And so they're actioning and moving now on from that. Clever the nine of cups in reverse. They're ending um, old wishes. Uh, it's an end of an era is what I'm hearing for some. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's too entrapped. They feel mentally trapped in this situation. So they know that they're moving on from it and they're slowly, but surely, but that's good because you don't want rushed, you know, because usually karmic energies, people rush into all of that. But with, um, in regards to, you know, a knight of pentacles, it's slow, it's steady, it's sturdy. It's going to be real. So there's a lot of regret in this situation with your person. They are ending this very in, uh, entrapment of karma. It could be like uh, addictions. It doesn't have to be a person per se, but it is addictions. And or it could be addictions, um, codependency, anything that keeps you trapped. They're, they're very sad about the outcome of the situation. They have a lot of regrets. And why is that spirit? Because I feel like they can't even be friends with this individual. They, they know that they're going to have to uh, completely walk away. That, you know, this person is soft. They kind of want to keep, you know, a friendship. But they feel like this may not even happen. But they're okay with that. They are balancing this energy that may have kept them stuck for a while because they may have wanted to, you know, still kind of keep this person in their life or, or, you know, trying to make it nice for everybody involved. The spirit is saying, like, it's too overindulgent. It's too, um, yeah, this Nine of Cups is showing up. It's too, um, it's too much like, um, a physical world attachment it's not working for your person they know that they have to cancel events cancel um you know things that they were involved in and celebrations and all of that so they're completely aware that they have to hold this patience okay there's another pentacle i'm really seeing a lot of this pentacle stuff so this offer is really coming in and in regards to a new passionate beginning, okay? So they know that they're ending this for this balance, for this ace of um, wands that's happening here, okay? Which is really beautiful. This is really um, bringing up the passion that they're feeling and moving away from this karmic energy. And we're just going to clarify that a little bit more that they are moving around. Yeah, Spirit wanted moving away. Spirit wanted you to... I felt like there are people in the collective asking, well, maybe that's what they feel towards the karmic. But Spirit's like, no, let's, let's clarify that. There's death, okay? Okay, they're putting an end so that they can have this. Okay, so I wanted to I wanted to show that to you guys. I love when the cards talk like that, uh, the synchronicity. So let's move on now to how they feel about you. But we're gonna clear this out because spirit's telling you to, and we're gonna put them back in the deck. Okay, and so this is how they're feeling about you now. Okay, we'll keep the karmic energies there, and they're hung about you. So yeah. Okay, so. Let me just pull in the energy. So this person is uh, really standing their ground. They're gained a lot of enlightenment. They're focused on working really hard on this new beginning, okay? But they have a lot of defending to do in their world right now. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands that they're really focused on. What is the Seven of Wands again that they're still hung? Towards the viewer, please. Yeah, they can't action anything. And I believe it's because of what's happening over here. Okay, you saw the devil. They're still in the process of ending things, okay? So towards you in their mind space, here is the magician. So let's clarify the magician. Things haven't been manifesting in their life. Hasn't been manifesting with you. Hasn't been manifesting anywhere in their life. Spirit is saying that, look at this, they have to end a commitment, the hierophant in reverse excuse me, that things are just very stagnant and they're noticing that their powers are completely like their manifesting abilities are not happening because they have to, they close their heart. Look at this. This person is rising into divine masculine. 
beautiful and they know that things haven't been manifested manifesting because they were hanging on to money four of pentacles is always about hanging on and look at it we've got the root chakra the heart chakra these are the different chakras that were involved right their heart their root chakra the solar plexus their third eye everything was siphoned from this karmic energy and so what's happening is they can't action anything because they're on the rise here with this emperor and thing and they were closed off so they know in their heart that they lost something here with you with the ten of cups in reverse yeah look at this the wheel they know that this is fate they know that this is good luck they know and we have the two dice here i've never noticed this before on this card but if you look she's got two dice kind of like when you hang in your in your rear view mirror in a car um you know the juggling they're not juggling this anymore spirit is saying they are completely over juggling this is a huge pentacle they're showing me the wheel is like a pentacle so i keep getting pentacles here with you guys it's it's this is a physical manifestation of something and this is actually like the wheel that is really um turning in your favor clarify that that's fate that's god that's spirit coming in okay yeah they've been very unhappy very depressed in their heart about you oh all right yeah they've been very stuck so see this energy has been very stuck nothing but nothing is happening in their life and they don't know why they can't manifest how they were able to manifest before it's not working anymore because this person is definitely leveling up and we can see that here because we have the the tower as the final outcome but this is a king of pentacles this is somebody who wants something tangible this is your person here um moving into a divine masculine with the emperor actually I'm clarify the emperor can you clarify the emperor here spirit they want to bring a message through for the emperor yeah they're very unstable it's a very unstable situation they weren't able to love themselves clarify that Woo. yeah because of this karmic energy okay that they've had to cut it out clarify the queen of swords they had to cut it out it was very unstable spirit is saying yeah uh -huh. it was a lot of injustice this commitment and see how we have the hierophant before was in reverse that they're ending it and this marriage or this high level of commitment that they had was creating a big injustice in their life so a lot of things not just with you but i feel like finances because we're seeing so many pentacles so many things were being siphoned out of them giving to this karmic energy and it was causing a lot of injustice in their life and it woke them up to make them realize like wow i miss this person i miss my actual person i miss who's watching watching this reading so let's take a look at king of pentacles here what is going on with king of pentacles towards the viewer this is the intention and the action so they're looking to ground they're looking to manifest they're looking to create yeah they're blocked right now but they're not talking yeah because they're in a complete place of heartbreak why are they in a complete place of heartbreak spirit yeah so they're still going within deeply okay they have their guard up but they are persevering but they're no longer investing in things that don't fill them okay so they're really clearing a lot they're recognizing the sorrow that they have felt in this connection with you okay third party situation could be but their their heart is completely shattered because they haven't been talking to you or because it's very little communication or they haven't been honest communication it's also like here that they haven't been investing in you they know that they have to persevere and they're going deep within what is this perseverance please yeah, they're, they want to come out of a separation if you two are in separation, okay? They're having a massive awakening right now. What is this awakening? Whoa. Battling, fighting, the burdens, the burdens. A lot of response, but it's a 10, so it's coming to an end. What is this five of wands? They're still fighting for you. Exactly. There is divine feminine energy. They are fighting for this divine feminine. They have awakened to their feelings to the divine feminine. They are ending overindulgence. Okay. What is this fighting? And they, yeah, one more. Yeah, they want to come forward with the with the Knight of Cups. So they want to offer. So these they have really good intentions here. They're really burdened right now. They've just come down this massive hill, like with all this stuff, you know, carrying all of this stuff down to the bottom of the hill. They're finally nearing their destination. What is this Ten of Wands? You know how hard that can be when you're just like, can I just take a rest? Yeah, they're putting an end to anything that burdens their life that does not fit. So this is massive transformation, okay? And more for the tower, please. Awaken. Yeah, see, they're ending um, anything that uh, never didn't serve them. Things that were just parting and happy-go-lucky. They're ending their entrapment in the brain, in their mind, which is what we saw earlier, okay? They're not juggling this. So they're juggling karmic energies and how to work this out and how to end things. And they're ending things and transforming, but they're not juggling this 
anymore. And they're saying, what is this ending? Everyone, I feel the collective asking, what is this ending? Can you clarify the ending, please? Because they're spirit saying it's not with you. Whoop. Yeah, it's an ending with the Eight of Cups so they can walk away. Okay, walk away from what, spirit? <laughs> Walking toward, look, they're ending a relationship for a renewal for the star, get it, and, and through the darkness, okay? They've been in a dark place, so I wanted to clarify that so you guys can see how the cards talk, okay? They're ending a commitment or relationship, they're healing, they're moving forward for a renewal judgment, okay? They are walking away, they're walking away from darkness. All right, pile number one, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, actually, I'm going to pick one oracle for you guys. So, yeah, let's do that. Spurs is going to pick one oracle. So, this is the oracle that is to help you. And that just kind of flew out. So, I'm not going to take it though because I wasn't ready. So, let's just see one oracle for group pile number one. Thank you, Spirit. This is from the Starseed, uh, uh, the Starseed Oracle. What is, oh, there's a flipped card here. I didn't even see this. What is this? That's why they're not actioning. <laughs> so they can't action things. So um, I guess that's that's what's happening. They're ending things. They're going through transformation. They're walking away. But um, they're going towards their destiny. They're ending a relationship for what is meant for them. So Spirit, what is a uh, message, healing message for the viewer for pile number one? For this beautiful ayahuasca necklace. Let's put that there. <laughs> what is going on here? And here we go. We've got two. Oh, we got three. <laughs> Your life is a canvas. Artist manifestation, creative accountability. The spirit is really saying here, get into your creative endeavors. Try to uh, focus on yourself right now. There are things that are happening in your favor. There are, sorry, there's a shadow. The sun has just now come beaming in and my drapes just broke last night. So I can't close those drapes right now. I have to get them fixed. But uh, Spirit is saying, you know, your life is a canvas. So it's a very important time for you to manifest and create what you want. Stop, embrace within great cosmic womb. So that's another force of creation energy, divine feminine, which is the dark energy, the womb here, okay, of the mother. So a lot of creative forces coming through for you jump right in into your endeavors and draw in an energy adventure say yes to this change there is a lot of change happening this person is not actioning right now but they definitely are ending situations in their life all right so much love pile one and we'll see you soon hey guys if you picked this beautiful tree this is your reading um just hang on i'll be right back but this is your reading. I'll just have to stop the camera for a minute. All right, sorry guys, I'm back now. So let's take a look. This is for the karmic energies for your divine counterpart, your twin flame, and what is playing out from now until the end of December into 2021. Let's take a look. We're gonna take a look at the karmic energies and your person and how they feel towards you. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. Thank you, Spirit. What's going on here? All right. Whew. Whoa. Yeah, we're not going to take all those. <laughs> we'll see what flipped here. Thoughts and King of Earth. So this person is definitely thinking a lot about you. Um, having a lot of heartbreak about you, but definitely thinking about you, okay? All right. Let's take a look. So what is going on with pile number two's person towards them in their mind? What's going on? I mean, sorry, towards the karmic energy. Sorry. Phew. Let's do that again. What is going on with pile number two's person in regards to the karmic energy in their mind space? Okay, we're going to take the two. We have, oh, sorry, in reverse, we have the queen with, that's funny, the king of pentacles just came out, right? Now we have the king of fire with the queen of earth. So this is what's happening. You guys are definitely counterparts. You notice how the king first came out and now we have the king of fire. So not actioning anything right now, but definitely in a place of thinking about, um, this is uh, not karmic energy. So even in their mind space, they're not thinking about their karmic, okay? They're thinking about this divine feminine, all right? What is going on with pile number two's person in regards to their mind towards the viewer? What is going on with pile number two's, thank you, union, wow. 
So this person is real, again, and that makes complete sense because they're thinking of you, right? They're thinking of union here. They're not um, even thinking about the karmic energy, okay, pile number two? So let's take a look. How are they feeling towards the karmic? How is this person feeling towards the karmic energy for pile number two? We have, sorry, I don't use this deck very often, Four of Swords in Reverse in the heart space. So they're coming out of a healing moment, okay? I feel like they may want to be ending separation if you guys have been in a separation, but if anything, they're coming out of their healing journey with this karmic energy. What is going on with pile number uh, two in regards to the heart space towards the viewer? Well, we've got two here. They're holding a lot of faith for you. Wow, the scribe. They want to come forward and communicate, either write something to you, communicate quickly with you. This person is really... Um, having a lot of faith in the connection in their heart space with you so that is truly beautiful uh, these cards are so big so i'm just trying to figure out how to do this here <laughs> uh, okay so put it like that okay what is going on with the intentions towards the karmic energy spirit pile number two's person in regards to the karmic and their intentions towards the karmic energy what is going on okay two of wands in reverse so they've made a clear decision okay they're not struggling anymore of how to move forward or what's going on with that at all they're definitely coming into a place of wanting to move um forward somehow okay and what is going on with pile number two's intention towards the per towards the viewer yeah they have a fear of an of this ending of your connection ending okay so that's actually driving their action a lot because they feel you uh, who, the viewer that you have completely released you have completely released any expectation you are definitely moving into something this union card is so beautiful look at that okay so let's take a look at the outcome that they desire with the karmic well, they've got masculine and feminine energy and they're blocking their emotions. Okay. So see the emotions. This is very interesting. So these, this is, um, very spirit wants me to show you where this person is at right now. They're not acting on anything right now. Okay. Because their emotions are completely blocked. Okay. They're thinking of divine feminine energy. All right. And in their outcome that they desire, they're blocked completely emotionally to this karmic energy and they're completely balancing their masculine and feminine energies. Wow. This person is leveling up, you guys. All right. What is the outcome that they desire with the viewer, please? <laughs> They are desiring to discover themselves and you are the gateway, okay? There is something about your energy. I see this is you, the Holy Trinity with the three birds. It's so beautiful. The two dragons, it's almost like the angel and the devil. You're balancing that as well. It's really telling me that this is another type of balancing act that's happening. Spirit showing me the circle here. Look at this. Friggin beautiful, right? And this is masculine. This is feminine. The heart that's here. Look at the heart that's shining here. And look at the heart that's in her in her heart space there. This is the Holy Trinity. This is something very uh, holy and sacred. Okay. So where is the masculine energy? Curl masculine. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like 99.9% .9 of my viewers are women. So I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't say that though. I do have like 0.1% or something. Okay. Um, what is this person? Pond number two's person. Where are they at right now in their energy in regards to th this situation? Okay. Their inner child. So they have been blocking this inner child. We're going to clarify that as well. Okay. So there's still some healing that needs to happen. Where they were at, I think, I believe this person has become aware of the blocking of this inner child, but we're going to go a little deeper. So let's take a look. In regards to this inner child energy, let's clarify towards karmic energy because I feel it's got a double standard. I feel that they're not opening up their vulnerability to the karmic energy, but I also feel that that also instigated them blocking um, their inner child healing and their wounding that they weren't able to give to this situation with you. So yeah oh, look at the hummingbird the little flower it's so beautiful and look at this beautiful like aura and this light that's coming in spirits bringing up this circle image here in regards to 
what's going on here with masculine, what's going on here with balancing of self. So, and this is masculine and feminine energy balancing, blocking things that don't serve. So let's see. The child in reverse towards the karmic energy, please, for pile number two's person. Yeah, this is a maturing process. So I feel like this person has completed a lot of their inner child healing. They're also not opening up vulnerability towards the karmic energy. So they're kind of like in their adolescent stage here, okay? So they're really um, recognizing that they have to start a journey. This person is a lone wolf. He's walking through the mountains, which, you know, is realizing I have to climb those mountains. I have to turn around and I have to kind of move forward on this path. Um, he doesn't have very much. This is very much reminding me of a fool recognizing that he's on an adventure and he's just kind of, you know, on a cliff here and he's waiting. Um, it's not the fool card in the deck, but it's just bringing up the fool of new beginnings because it's the image is reminding me of the, you know, the dog and the loyalty and, and knowing that they can't open this inner child energy to this karmic energy anymore. And what is going on in regards to the viewer, pile number two's viewer in regard thank you yeah this is three of swords in reverse okay oh this is thoughts getting out of their head and not letting that control them okay because that was blocking their inner child healing so i feel this person has completed a lot of deep inner child work and is really recognizing that they can't be in their head in regards to this connection. That's why the faith card is here in the heart space, right? The placement of the heart space that they want to communicate what they're actually feeling in their heart space and that they've been having faith. And I'm really seeing this dog and this coyote. If you guys didn't look at the last reading that I did, go back and take a look. The last part of the reading showed a wolf with like a coyote. And this is what it's bringing up again, this balance. I love the synchronicities. Now they're playing out. This is also like Turtle Island. This is the original earth. This is some of you may be shamans and and uh, medicine people and healers which is awesome so this is really showing here um you know this balance that's happening and they're holding a, a lot of um faith for this that's why they can't be in their mind with this connection okay so let's go deeper let's clarify let's see what they're doing with the karmic energies in regards to this that came out the balancing of um the masculine with uh, this is towards karmic. Why are they not actioning towards karmic? And why is the queen of earth here? Seven of swords in reverse. They're getting very honest with themselves. So this is like really beautiful because they really don't want to. <laughs> um, yeah, they're just being really dead honest with everything in their life right now, but they're not actioning certain things. What is the seven of swords, please, in reverse? three of cups in reverse. So they, they definitely aren't taking part in, um, any, um, kind of celebrations or partying or going out and doing all that wonderful, you know, dating stuff or anything like that. Like this person is just getting very honest on their path. And what do they think about the queen of pentacles? They're really thinking about this, uh, divine feminine energy of grounded energy, something stable. So they're not thinking of the karmic at all. Yeah. Look at this. The desire is in the reverse. So this karmic energy, I mean, look at the cards that came out. Their mind is simply they're not desiring, okay? Um, they're thinking of this, uh, this beautiful feminine energy, but they're not, they're blocking their desires here in the mind space because right now they're trying to get very honest with their situations. They're ending a lot of um, planned events. Um, they may have had to like, uh, they're bringing up, I guess, Thanksgiving and not um, partaking in certain things and just getting very honest with their energy. They don't have a desire here to, uh, let's clarify that a little bit. Um, in regards to the, directly with the Queen of Pentacles, why aren't they designed the Queen of Pentacles? Because I feel there's a little bit more here. Yeah, they're not making, um, nothing ever got started, okay? And it blocked the desire. Thank you, Spirit. That's what's happening. They don't desire this karmic energy. The mind is completely on you. What's happening here is that they can't take this um, leap of faith. And nothing ever took this leap of faith because... They did not follow those desires and they don't desire anything else. Okay. So they had to get very honest in their headspace. Okay. Let's see what's going on with their heart towards the karmic. We have, they're coming out of a healing period in their heart space towards karmic energy. What is the spirit? <laughs> yeah, that's karmic energy to me. The queen of swords in reverse. So yeah, this person is really, um, coming out of their healing period with their karmic energy. And that's what I was seeing with this, um, the child in reverse, you know, they're not opening up their vulnerability. Their mind is really on the viewer here. They're really, um, <laughs> 
kind of getting honest with the really honest about themselves or out ending anything that's toxic or any type of third party situation and they know that things never their life hasn't really got started um and they had to block a lot of desires but i feel that th that's in their heart space was because they had to finish complete this healing with this karmic energy okay what else in the heart space towards the karmic that they're completely yeah here's the counterpart again okay so yeah we have ending of cycles that are happening, a lot of thoughts, a lot of uh, lessons that have been learned. We have the balancing of the yin and yang here that's happening, um, which was also happening here. So there's a definitely, um, see masculine and feminine, that's the outcome that's happening. So this person is really um, ending their healing journey. They're just coming out of it and they're recognizing that they are the counterpart here, right? To the queen really beautiful so they're recognizing this that they're coming out of this final healing place and they're blocking karmic energies okay so let's take a look here in regards to their action towards the karmic energy is that they're no longer um contemplating anymore they're not really going back and forth anymore they're not seeing how they can have the karmic in the future they've made a decision what is this decision yeah it's been a very difficult decision they've had to open up their heart they had to unblock and let go this karmic um, we have the four of cups. They, they have a little bit of sadness and complacency that happened here. We're going to clarify that, but because we have the four of cups it nearly came up in reverse, but what's happening here is like, they're getting very clear in regards to, uh, how to let this go. Now that's their action. They're letting go. They're opening up, um, this four of cups. We have two fours as well. That means foundation is being created. So their choices that they're making in their life and the actions that they're taking is actually creating foundation now. And what is going on in regards to, yeah, look at this, the 10 of swords, right? So a lot of betrayal, they have to act on this betrayal. They're moving into a new portal. They have gained their wings, spirit is saying. They have gained uh, insight. They have a butterfly here, lots of butterflies, lots of transformation, that this ending has created a lot of enlightenment for them, okay? And that's what's caused them to open up the four of uh, pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay, that's too many, but we'll take the one that flew up here, which is the Queen of Cups. Sorry, no, it's not. It's five, the Six of Cups. <laughs> Sorry, I don't use this deck very often. Six of Cups, they're nostalgic about the past. So they're opening up to the past here, you guys, if you haven't been in communication. If you are, they're thinking about, you know, nostalgic about, you know, you are a soulmate, that they, they recognize that they want to reach out and offer something here. I've got the, this little thing. They want to give something. They're nostalgic about something with you and the past and how things kind of went down. So let's take a look at the outcome here for this, your person. We have the outcome um, in regards to the karmic energies. Your person towards the karmic is that they're really trying to balance this masculine and feminine energies. So, but they are blocking any type of emotional energy that, is, that was feeding the karmic energy is what I'm getting. So clarify this, please. Pile two's person towards the karmic. Thank you. <sighs> the nine of wands in reverse they're blocking this okay and the five of swords in reverse they're ending conflict but they're also putting up their guard so that's that water energy their emotions are completely taking care of their feelings they are not buying into the emotional manipulation any longer they are really standing strong in divine feminine and divine masculine energy they are fiery they are ending cycles um this is really beautiful but the, and they're ending they're taking off the mask here finally you see they're getting very honest with themselves and they're persevering okay final message here in regards to pod number two's uh Pile number two towards their person towards the karmic. Yeah. Their destiny was blocked by this karmic. Okay. Their path was completely blocked. And they recognize that completely. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. I'm going to put these back. Let's take a look at how they are towards you. And then we will pull you some oracle. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. The spirit's like, we're just going to take those and put them back in the deck. This is towards you now, so we're going to move this over and how they're feeling towards you. This is their headspace. This is their heart space. This is their actions, and this is the outcome. All right, let's shuffle a little bit. So this person here, um, what is happening is that they've been doing a lot of inner child healing, right? They've had to really block a lot of what's going on in their mind space um, because they have to get into a, a space of faith 
um, with you because they they are thinking about union. They're they're curious about union. They want to know what this is like. Um, yeah. I'm seeing another wolf here, right? We had another wolf earlier with the youth card. So let's take a look a little further. What is going on with pile number two's person towards them without union? They're getting out of their head. They've done their inner child healing. What is, uh, what is this union card doing here in regards to their person? Nine of swords and revert. They're ending their pain. They're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel for union. Okay, so they're really uh, the thoughts that are coming in now are is about coming into a union with you. Six, seven, eight in reverse. So ending entrapment. Eight of swords. Is that the swords again? I believe that's the swords. Yeah, it's weird to say it's the swords. So the eight of swords in reverse. So they're ending entrapments in their mind. They're getting out of their pain place. Eight and nine of swords, you guys. So this person has really leveled up in their mind. And it's really beautiful because we're getting this card here. You know, these thoughts, the three of swords in reverse, ending their heartbreak, gaining a lot of wisdom through their pain. Unfortunately, some of us need to suffer to know. Okay, sometimes we got to go the hard route. Mm. But here, they're gaining, they, they're revealing... Um, this is wisdom here, right? It's like the high priestess, but it's also like she's very secretive. You know, she's got a portal that she's pointing to and directing, but here in reverse, she's revealing a lot. Th lots of things spirit is revealing to this person in the mind. Yeah. Okay. We're going to move on to the heart space spirit is saying. So we're going to move into the heart. Spirit is saying there's a lot of communication here and, and wanting to come forward. Clarify this in the heart space. They're feeling the communication. Doesn't mean they necessarily will, but they're, they're feeling, as I'm saying, in the heart space, they're feeling it. And here comes the emotions, okay? They're having a lot of faith in their heart space towards you, okay? We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. They're not looking at any options. They're not, they're ending old dreams, illusions, things that they couldn't see before. We're going to take this one flipped upside down. We have their block. It kept their emotions blocked, right? So this person in their heart space was blocked. They're feeling now. So this is very interesting. Look, this person had to really get out of their head space. This person overthinks all the time. So I was watching pile number two. They are massively massive overthinkers. Because if you look at this whole thing about this mind, this, you know, ending the, the thought process, um, getting faith, coming into faith, this is like... They had to take out their emotion with the intellect again. They had to block this out. This is the second time this card has come out. But they're also feeling their emotions, okay? And they're recognizing what was happening and what they truly want. This person is holding a sword of truth. So the spirit is coming in and giving them the true emotions. What real emotions feel? What real love feels like, you know? Because love is not um, attachment and uh fighting for love look as i'm saying love look at this look what's on the bottom of the deck like you're not fighting for love it just is love just is and love is healing right if if and your person is recognizing with the karmic energy what's happening is you know nothing heals nothing heals but when you are with your divine counterpart it heals everybody all around you it heals every single person in your family it heals your children it heals your friends it heals because it is a sacred union it's love. And this person is starting to recognize what real love is, okay? Their actions towards you is that they're scared as shit. I'm sorry I had to say that they're scared as hell that this is ending. They don't want this to end, not in any way, shape, or form. So their action towards you, because they don't want it to end, Spirit, what is their action towards pile number two? Three of wands in reverse. We also have the queen of cups in reverse, and we also have the mind and body in reverse. So because they were blocking, um, uh, they had a fear of change. They had a fear of things ending. It really took them off their spiritual path. And what's happening here is that they're com it completely blocked them. So this emotional block that's happening, they're starting to open it up with the union energies. They're starting to open it up here again in the heart space. Okay. They're getting clarity about their feelings now. So they're in that process. If they're not reaching out, they want to talk. They're trying to like sort that energy out because it's still somewhat blocks. Like, see, here's that mind and body again, right? Here we go with the emotions and the intellect. Look at how these were, you know, blocked, right? This is the same thing. It's the body and the mind. They weren't feeling anything because they were blocking their emotions because they were fearing endings in their life and fear of change this person had a massive fear of change and they're also um getting off the path but it took them off the path okay uh let's clarify that it took them off their path oh 
that fell on the ground. Ha ha ha! Beautiful. It took them off their path. See how it was uh, in reverse for the karmic energy, but it came upright for you. That is because you are their desire, okay? And they've recognized their desire. So this person has definitely had an awakening. They're realizing where they're blocked. They're starting to like, um, you know, compartmentalize and understand where the energy is and what's happened. And they're getting a deeper understanding about what real love is, what spiritual love is, uh, what they want in their life and what truth is. So they're seeing through a lot of illusions of the mind. Okay. In the outcome here, they want self. Okay. So they are choosing self first before they're choosing the viewer which is how it should be because when you choose self you come into complete alignment with the holy trinity which is divine union which we also had union card here right because they are thinking and look how similar these cards are okay standing grounded right and holding that space so let's clarify the outcome that they desire with you they're choosing self, which is awesome, which means that they are completely awakening. They are not fighting themselves anymore. Five of Wands in reverse. They're not fighting themselves. Look at this. The Two of Wands again came out in reverse. They know how they want to move forward. They have made a decision. Okay. They are opening up. The Nine of Wands again. They are opening up. This wisdom has not fully been infiltrated, okay? They had to go within to find this light. They're coming out of their cave. This is the hermit in reverse, but they haven't, I feel like they haven't quite left the cave yet. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, the five of swords in reverse. So they're just coming out of conflict, okay? So spirit is say, saying that they're persevering, they're opening up their heart now. They're actually at a place of recognizing their emotions versus their intellect. Beautiful. So let's see some healing messages for you guys. So they definitely are moving towards you. They haven't actioned any movement really, but they are definitely having a heart awakening. They are definitely recognizing what's real, what's fake, what's illusion. They have quieted the mind. Oops. Let's see what is going on for pile number two. What are healing messages for the viewer? Thank you. What is happening for pile number two? For the viewer. Thank you, Spirit. What is happening with pile number two? That's funny because this is the card that fell on the ground. And, oh no, it's not. It's not. I lied. I thought it was the black, their black card, but it's not. They've gained a new perspective. Look at this. They're looking at Earth from way far away and they're like, none of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. So they're having a lot of awakening here. They're holding down the Star Keeper, the Cosmic Ancestor. They're holding down this pillar of light. They're grounding it into the earth because they're recognizing what love is. And so Spirit is saying for you to do the same thing, okay? Spirit is saying this is the same advice. Your person is doing this. You are doing this now. Gain a new perspective of the situation. Open your heart to the situation. Ground this stuff down into the earth. Here, water your garden. Take care of yourself, body care, tenderness, and rest. So take care of yourself. Ground your energies into the earth and gain a new perspective on your situation. This person is waking up. So much love. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. If this resonated for you, please leave a comment down below and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I've been having like massive technical issues doing your, your reading. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, energies that are coming through so if you pick this just know that your person is um in a really dark place okay there is a lot of interference that's been happening if you noticed if you look back at the other readings the sun was shining in i have been trying to do your reading um the others recorded fine and it's been this is the fifth time <laughs> and so i know i promised these readings today but this is what happens okay if you pick this pile your person is not in a good place so i'm actually standing looking at this camera to make sure to hold my vibration that it doesn't cut out again um yeah so let's let's get right into this um i'll tell you a little bit what i was picking up before with this one if you pick this mushroom it's really a beautiful um yeah so anyways, but what, what's been happening with this is in the connection, um, your person is not in a good space and they mentally and intellectually know what they have with you. But what's happening is in their heart space, they're still really trapped in certain types of traditions, a marriage or how uh, the Hierophant had come up, but really about how um, they view love. 
And what's happening with your person is that in their heart, like they have so much regret towards you and yet they're still unable to fully um, reconcile this. Uh, they're trying to avoid it. They're in a deep uh, place of pain. And so they're having a lot of like back and forth and they're, and a lot of the messages that were coming up for the divine feminine was that they are going back and forth between their heart and their mind duality. And then what's happening is like, they're coming in, they're bringing they're they're like, you'll feel divine feminine will feel the masculine energy come in and then they'll pull away. And so they're doing this, uh, interesting back and forth dance. It's the push and pull dynamic, but it's also a wavering aspect, um, to get you guys, uh, really focused into yourselves. Okay. So this back and forth that keeps happening, it's a cyclic loop, right? Um, I'm going to just keep standing here. Just, uh, I'm sorry guys. I, I, it always cuts off at about the 20, um, 20 second mark, but I know we're past that, but I think we're good. Okay. Let's get into it. Spirit, please clear this energy. Let's do a little bit of clearing just for you guys. And I have my group membership Zoom call tonight. And um, I'm like, have to go cook dinner and everything. So like, this is why it's so, um, like, I'm so busy all the time. And then I had other clients that I read today. So I'm so sorry that this is late, but this is like my day. You know, I'm, I'm up at five in the morning, you guys, working. Okay, like I'm up at five and then I get the kids off to school and then, you know, I had uh, clients today booked and then <laughs> um, I ended up starting this and then ha having technical issues. I have to go cook dinner and then I have my Zoom call. So that I want to give you just a little feedback of what my days look like. Um, just making sure this is still going. Yes, it's still going. Hallelujah. So you notice it's a little bit darker. I do have lights down here. Um, let's take a look here. This is between... Whew, your person. Okay, let's see. Spirit, we have some cards that fell in. We're not going to take them. What is going on with pile three, this magic mushroom? What is going on with pile three towards the karmic energy and towards the viewer? Thank you, Spirit. Let's clear that a little bit more. What's in the back? Palo Santo. Thank you. What is going on? Thank you, Spirit. For pile three, I hope can we please bring in this reading again? Thank you. I'm going to take a look at the bottom just to see. Okay, we have, yeah, the Page of Swords. See, this is like wanting to communicate, but not being honest with this communication, right? Um, a lot of drama happening. See, this is that dark stuff, the drama, right? So there's a lot of dark stuff that's happening. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on with Pile 3 uh, towards the karmic situation in the mind? Wow, do you see this? Yeah, unrequited love. And knowing that it's unrequited love, what is Pile 3's person towards... The viewer in the mind. Thank you. What is pile three's uh, heart space towards karmic nostalgia? Okay, that came up as a clarifier, actually. So we're getting some some of the same cards as well. What is going on in regards to the heart space towards the viewer? Pile three's person. Okay, manifestation that came up as well in the same position with the eight of cups. Okay. What is going on in uh, Pile Three's person towards their intentions towards the karmic energy? We have the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, what is going on in regards to Pile Three's person towards intentions towards the viewer? And we have the Four of Swords in reverse. Wanting to come out of separation, okay? Wanting to clean up the betrayal. <sighs> What was this? This was the, yeah, so wanting to come on the spiritual path with you, okay? Wanting to uh, forge a new path, but um, knowing that they have to manifest and walk away from something. And this came up in the other reading too, that they knew what they had to do, but they weren't able to manifest it yet. The cycle, the, the world card was in this position. And they knew that, they know mentally they have to end it. So it's the same kind of thing. They know that this is unrequited love with the karmic situation, okay? Uh, what is going on in regards to the outcome that they desire with the karmic person or situation? Thank you. We have the uh, Knight of Swords. Sorry, the Page of Swords. And what is going on towards the viewer and the outcome? Okay. We have things are not moving right now. Quite stuck. Okay. Stagnant. 
Okay, so what is going on with this person's current, um, yeah, what is going on? I hope, I'm sorry guys, if the view is, it's because it's gotten dark and, um, I need to seriously get like a studio eventually. <laughs> Um, what is going on in regard? I hope you guys can see this. Okay. I'm just going to like try and fix some of this lighting so we can get some even number. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't usually do readings this late. Hope that's okay. At least it's still recording. That's all we need. Okay. So what is going on with this person pile three in regards to this entire situation? Please spirit. What is going on with this person? <sighs> knowing that they have to reveal things, okay? So this came out as well. So let's see, they know they have to reveal things to the karmic energy. What are What is that energy towards the karmic? Yeah, look, it's blocked, but this is the karmic. They know they have to reveal to the karmic. The karmic is very much in a blocked, narcissistic type of energy. What is going, and this is why they're so depressed. This is why they're so nostalgic in their heart, okay? Because they may have had a connection at one point, but they're very in the past about this connection. What's, going, what's being revealed uh, with this person towards the viewer? Okay, the chariot things aren't moving, and that came out as well in the first part so let's take a look they know that this is unrequited love with the karmic okay they know that the ace of cups in reverse in their mind they intellectually understand this before they knew that the world it, that it was over we have the king of swords so look at this we have a pair they're both completely blocked in their energy they're both in narcissistic really dark energies this is what i was picking up on guys really dark energies like i'm getting a headache literally um this is you know upset not the ten of cups uh, a lot of depression a lot of drama six of swords in reverse that that showed up right so yeah they know this they know this with the karmic energy in their heart they're nostalgic about the past the six of the six of uh, cups here in their heart space and they're in pain about it so they are they're having a lot of pain and this was the heart space before too because this person was in in definitely i'm so sorry about the glare guys this person was definitely in in regards to um uh, the hierophant was there in a commitment and a marriage but knowing that they were fighting like it was like it's not like they don't have feelings so this person is still going through a lot of heartbreak with the karmic it's not what they thought and look at this the wheel will not turn spirit says and that came up as well the wheel's not going to turn it was it's going to be stagnant until this person realizes um that they have to heal the emotional body so this is what's really going on with them towards the karmic we have here the actions and their intentions towards the karmic is like they know that they can't wait and they can't plan with this karmic anymore and they understanding that they have to action um they, they can't wait anymore it's like they're being pushed by the universe like they just can't wait anymore okay we have the star in reverse it's not healing we have the uh page of cups and this came up as well except it was upright um was it upright or was that the group before Okay, I'm not going to quote that one, but they're very unstable here in this situation, okay? They're unable to love themselves in this situation for one. That's why things aren't healing. So this person's really stuck in the mental mind, and they're unable to really dig deep into their feelings. I feel like they're almost afraid of this connection with you, whoever's watching this. This Four of Cups in reverse, it's really... Um, they know that they're coming out of this complacency. So, I mean, that's a good thing with the karmic energy. They know that they're coming out of, they're coming out of a complacent place of grieving with this karmic. They know that they can't start anything new. And so they're in this back and forth energy. It's exactly what I was feeling, this contemplation energy. So they know this. Um, and they know that they can't start anything new and then they've been stuck in this loop between the mind and the heart They're like, okay, I'm going I'm coming back or starting again because before they had the aces and stuff and that yeah This is this is the same. It's exactly the same energy, but it's very narcissistic very dark energy Okay, they're playing in like really dark um, types of intimacy and a lot of fetishes is what I'm hearing. Okay, dark stuff, a lot of drugs, a lot of drinking, a lot of um, narcissistic type of energy. And even if they don't do those things, the, it's a mind, it's a mind, they're messing with the mind. That's what's happening in this connection, okay? The outcome here that your person desires is this page of swords to speak some uncomfortable truths to this person, okay? It's, it's harsh truth about the commitment, okay, about this marriage. The Hierophant was in the heart space. So they're having trouble, but they're really trying to, you know, come come out of this, you know. And um, the Hierophant is definitely, 
just making sure this is still recording. Thank you. Um, this Hierophant is um, very tradition. And so it's breaking their, um, they're trying to seek beyond their curiosity beyond this Hierophant. Okay. They're trying to seek more. <sighs> they want, and but they're still offering their love to this. Okay. They want to talk about where to offer this love. They, they want to have a conversation with the karmic energy, okay? What is this Knight of Cups here for, please? Yeah, about a decision, judgment, renewal. They don't want to take a they don't want to take a leap of faith. They don't want to start again. They don't want to keep going in this loop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're together, we're not together. The divine feminine feels it, right? You're getting pulled into the energy. It's like, oh, I feel my my person. Oh, now I don't feel the net. And it's this back and forth loop. I, I understand that completely, you guys. That was a hard one to break in the energies, okay? Um, once I broke it, though, I know things started to shift. So this is, this is definitely divine feminine really learning how to stand in her own, okay? and divine feminine energy so they're they're wanting a renewal uh, with within themselves and they're wanting to talk about they know they have to take their cup elsewhere and they're trying to make a decision so they are contemplating things in the karmic energy right now but they're struggling because they're in a really dark space okay guys let's take a look at what's going on in regards to the feminine i'm just going to take these cards okay let's see what's going on towards the feminine now okay so here they are uh revealing they're, they're getting honest with themselves they can't move towards uh sorry i say feminine because i mean it's like 99 percent of my viewers are like women so <laughs> um like one percent are men so let's take a look here for whoever's watching this in regards to things aren't moving um that they in their mind they know that they want the spiritual path okay but in their heart they're trying to manifest and to walk away from something, okay? To find that last two of cups, to find their true love. They are coming out of a healing period here, okay? But what's happening is um, it's this betrayal that they're going to have to clean up is what they're having trouble with. And here with the eight of wands in reverse, it's like things are stuck, okay? So I don't see this moving right now, guys, but there's definitely an awareness that's happening with your person in regards to the karmic energies. And they are taught, looking at having a discussion with the karmic situation or dealing with if it's drugs or alcohol or things like that, it's an addiction. They're really looking at the codependency and really getting honest with themselves because everything's coming up to the surface. Okay, let's take a look at the spiritual path in their mind that they know with the divine, sorry, with the, I, as I'm saying divine feminine, see divine feminine is showing up a lot lot they know that they want this path of the divine feminine the here comes the empress see can't make that up can't make that up it's not um they want to return okay and they know this but that's they're not moving on this why aren't they moving yet spirit yeah because they're in heartbreak okay about ending toxicity so they're still dealing that heartbreak card has come out they're still the ending addictions okay so let's take a look at their heart space towards the towards the viewer here pile three please they want to manifest they know they have to walk away and this is where their heart look at the king of cups of pentacles is reversed okay they know that they have to ground the energy it's like they're avoiding it and they're a little bit afraid of this energy that they feel towards the viewer okay we have the um uh, page of swords here again so they know that they have to have uh, uh they want to seek more they're curious about this connection they want to move towards it but they know they have to have some uncomfortable conversations from the heart with the person who's watching this about a traditional commitment so this person i feel is having a lot of problems with tradition structure labels where do they fit they can't fit this connection okay they feel like it's going to that they have to end the, this marriage with the karmic energy the queen of wands that they're going to have to end it's going to fail okay and they and it's very uncomfortable this energy in the heart and why is that showing up so they're feeling this yeah see and that's why they, they're trying to persevere okay so they're not completely blocked to this they are a little bit but this means they're persevering with the blocked energy but they're persevering they're keep they're going for it they're trying to figure it out. What is this failure with them? And that's what's blocking their heart space towards uh, the viewer here. We have the, the so they want to offer something from their heart. Okay. Why aren't they offering something, Spirit? 
They're not working. They're not focused on it. See, they're avoiding. They're avoiding the feelings here. That's why things aren't moving. And that's because they're still in massive heartbreak of what's happening over here. So they're, they, they are completely aware that they have to clear up the karmic stuff okay they are aware before they have these uncomfortable heart conversations with the viewer okay their actions and intentions towards you and this is going towards the end of the month into january so this is like ending separation and ending um you know this ten of swords the betrayal here see they have to come out of this healing to clean up the betrayal or spirit is not going to turn that wheel for them and that came up before in reverse as well when i recorded it last time so they definitely um, it's nothing is going to happen in their life. Okay. Viewer, nothing for pile three, nothing is going to happen in their life until they do this. All right. It's fate. It's fated. It's destiny. You can't, you can't mess with the universe. I always say that to karmic energy. You can try, but that is going to come tenfold back to you. Somebody like, I know the karmic energy, like attacked me on Instagram yesterday. It's like, seriously, try try you're working with dark energy i can't even you know i didn't have a bad thing to say anything about my twins karmic i'm like okay until now <laughs> i'm like seriously clean your shit up look at this queen of swords in reverse see this is blocking this is blocking this right so nothing is going to turn until they feel this okay they can't their intention is they want to come and clean it up they can't until they get rid of this until look at this three of cups they end this third party situation okay we have here outcome we have things are stuck with you right now okay what is this the flipped they're in pain because nothing is moving so they're sitting in a really dark place you guys a really dark place okay it's not nice it's not it's very unbalanced um yeah look at this their per that your person is um not actioning anything right now and and but they're feeling definitely this passion for you all right they're definitely feeling this passion it's passionate but it's dramatic too much drama guys way too much drama that's happening okay the drama is what's overseeing everything um yeah that your person can't invest in the drama anymore so wherever there's drama they're not investing anymore in it they're just going they don't care and and and, and it's not that they don't care <laughs> spirit is saying like they don't care for all this drama and this is why they need to have these uncomfortable conversations with the karmic energy um before that they can move towards towards the viewer okay they need to um yeah any final messages here for the viewer yeah don't try and delay the change that's happening okay spirit is saying that you've got to come into an awakening as well about what the situation the back and forth pull you've got to allow things to fall apart you have to let things completely fall down so don't hang on to thank you spirit is bring up a lot of like this emotional connection mental connection this back and forth that's in and out of your life spirit is saying let it fall down let whatever vibration you've had fall down because it's keeping both of you in this delayed state of change and 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 it will eventually fall down um but we can't create new things in our lives and allow our true abundance to come in until those things actually do fall down and yeah, see the back and forth the juggling like i can't make that up guys that's the back and forth right all right let's get some healing messages for you and that is your reading I know it's not as long as the other ones. I'm so sorry. I have tried. I tried. Uh, it was a lot of dark. Your person is dealing with heavy, heavy stuff, okay? It's very important for the viewer to move on. Do not focus on this person, okay? It is time for you to move forward into the new vibration so that you can level up. And if this person is definitely meant to be with you, they'll level up too. But they've got to discover themselves, okay? This is this is not uh, this is a non-attachment reading, is what I'm getting, okay? So this is really a place to like, don't be attached, don't be attached, okay? Spirit has your back. You've got to move, keep moving forward. What do you have messages for the pile three viewers, please? we have i'm sorry if you hear my kid they're home now you know i try to do these readings when they're not home but he's gaming in his room so um we have earth pulsing 
pulse of the mother, slow down, slow down time and nature. So reconnect to yourself. You see this person is laying there on this beautiful bed of roses and allowing spirit to just cleanse these energies. And again, it's not about the person. Spirit is bringing this very through. It's not about the karmic person. It's not about your person that, that, that you're asking about or inquiring about. This is about you and this healing journey that's happening right now. Okay. This is you surrendering to whatever is happening. So the delays can end. Okay. We have the courageous peony multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen so this is about discovering yourself and your gifts this is about really starting to learn um i feel some of you may be somewhat new on the spiritual path it's you know or even on this journey okay of um what twin flames are and soulmates and things like that and so if you are and this is new and you haven't really felt these energies and what's going on and you know that there's a connection with this person spirit is like especially if you're still fairly new into all of this um, I, cause I'm getting multiple, like if, if you know you're in a twin flame connection, then you know you're in a twin flame connection. Um, if you don't, some of you may not be, and that's okay too, right? Twin flames, ugh, you guys, twin flames are the most intense, holy connection on the planet. It doesn't mean that it's better. Okay. <laughs> it means that it's, um, here for massive transformation and, and you, and it's hard work. Um, but the part of that journey is to let go, is to move into new vibration, is to love yourself so authentically, because when you do that, your what you what is truly meant for you will come to you. You don't have to attach to anything. You don't have to do anything but be yourself. And when you are yourself, your person will level up to you. So this is like, be courageous, find your unique self, find your talents, find your gifts, nurture yourself, love yourself, go into nature, be one with spirit and go where spirit is guiding you, even if it's going to be a tower. Okay. And spirit is saying it's, it doesn't mean that this person um, are, and you aren't meant to be, nobody can ever take what is meant for you. Nobody that is like lower dimensional stuff. If you're feeling like someone can take someone away from you who is meant to be with you and who you were made for, then no, like that's, that's just not a thing. You can't believe those things. You've got to move into a deeper healing place. Okay, my loves. So this is really about this back and forth. Your person is really knows about the connection. Okay. But their heart is, is, is struggling with a lot of this traditional stuff. There's something that is, um, with the karmic energy that they're trying to heal. There's a lot of stuff going on in this connection that they're unable to come forward right now. They want to, but they can't because there's still a massive awakening that needs to happen on both ends. Okay. So much love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and comment. And if you'd like to work with me further, all my info is down below. Thank you. Bye. Hey, pile number four, if you picked this beautiful agate, I love it. It's one of my favorite. All the pieces I got to, oh, I'll move this mushroom. All the pieces I got today are from Mexico. So that's beautiful. So let's get started. I was having some technical issues. That's why it's so dark now, if you've noticed. Um, <laughs> story of my life, story of my life. Sorry if you hear my child. Let me... Um, he's gaming, so I'm sorry if you hear that. I try to do these videos uh, in the day, but I was having technical issues, of course, because the pile three was a lot of darker forces that were coming through, so they didn't go as smoothly as my first two groups. But let's see what's going on with you guys. Whew. Feels a lot lighter. So let's take a look. Um, what is going on for pile four spirit? This is going to be you towards, uh, sorry, this is your person towards the karmic energy and towards you. So we're gonna take a look at these energies. Whew, yeah, this energy is so much lighter, guys. Whew. Whew, feels like I can breathe again. So pile four, what's popped up here is cycles ending, closing off the past, ending the foundation for divine feminine because they're heartbroken about you, about the viewer. <coughs> Sorry guys, just wanted to cough. I feel like, <coughs> They want to talk to you, all right? So I feel you this pile for you may be getting communication, all right? Yeah, look at this. They're dealing with toxic emotions right now, things that are keeping them trapped away from divine feminine energy, okay? So let's take a look. What is going on here, spirit? Thank you. We're going to cut the deck. What is going on here, spirit, with this person for my pile number four? What is going on with them towards the karmic energy in the mind space? 
thank you that came out fast wow look at that we have they're letting go okay what is going on with pile number four towards the viewer in the mind space thank you wow yeah this whew, this pile feels much more open and it's nothing wrong with that it's just i know when i can feel the energy it's like oh my heart feels so much better okay what is going on in the heart space towards the karmic energies with pile fours person We have the seven of swords. <laughs> the, the seven of swords, what I'm feeling in the heart space is like, they're trying to not be completely honest. I feel like they have to sneak around and not in a bad way to let this person go. Okay. What is going on in the heart space towards the viewer? This person. Oh, nine of wands. Okay. What is going on in the actions towards the karmic? Intentions. They want to stop fighting. All right, what is going on with the actions towards Ten of Cups? Yeah, and what is this is towards you, the viewer, and what is going on the outcome that they desire with the karmic energy? Hey guys, this is uh this is timeless, but it is whenever you view it, but it is right now coming at the end of 2020 into um January 2021. They want to win. They don't want a victory with the karmic. They want to win the entire situation. This is like an ego, not an ego boost, but this is like an incension boost. This is like, yes, I can do this. I'm doing this. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the man or the woman. I'm like, I got this. So what is the outcome that they desire with the viewer? The lovers. Exactly. Exactly what I was feeling. Whoo. Yeah. So yeah, let's see where this person is at. Where's uh, number four's person right now currently? What is their energy between the two energies? Thank you. They are standing very clear, King of Swords. So they are completely in line to heart and mind. Yes. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, God, you guys. I feel so much better doing this. Oh, my God. And it's recording. Oh, I'm sorry for the glare, guys. It was uh, Pile 3 I was having trouble with. This one was like, and nothing against Pile 3. I'm sorry. I've, I've been in those dark places, too. So, okay, let's take a look. So your person towards the karmic energy. <coughs> And they really want to communicate. The King of Swords is about communication. Oh my God, my throat is so tickly. <clears throat> they definitely want to communicate what's going on towards the karmic energy. The King of Swords towards the karmic energy. Huh. They want to communicate. They don't know what to say about the truth. Look at that. See, they want to talk about the truth to the karmic. And what do they want towards the viewer? Wow, this is amazing, guys. I feel reunion is close for you guys. They're afraid of things ending here. They're, they they had to put a halt to certain things. They've been going through a dark night here, okay? They're using their intuition. And they're really afraid that uh, viewer, you are, you know, done. They're afraid of this ending, so a lot of fear-based things have come, and there's been a delays here. Though so they're trying to put a halt to this darkness, they're using their intuition a lot towards you, okay? They're trying to follow that intuition. So let's clarify here. Let's see the karmic energies first, and then we'll go into the viewer. So pile number four, what is going on with the mind? Let's keep, they're trying to open up, Spirit is saying, to the karmic, okay? They're trying to speak the truth. They want to open up. They're, yeah, look, the King of Cups trying to talk about their feelings and saying, look, I don't want to be in this anymore. It's keeping me very unstable. We have the King of Pentacles and what's underneath. They don't want to invest. I can't invest in this connection anymore. It's making me literally unstable. Okay. So this person is like, no, I don't want to invest anymore. So they're planning. Okay. So they're already planning in their heart. They're already trying to figure things out with the energies in their heart. What is the seven of swords? Yeah. About the spiritual path. That's way too many spirits. So yeah, about the spiritual path, they want something new. So they're trying to, they're not quite being as honest as they should be, I don't think. Yeah, it's creating toxicity. This is going to create a little bit more toxicity. They're going to have to come completely clean to the karmic energy. Okay, they're going to have to be very serious. So they're still trying to, you know, sneak away is what I'm getting from the karmic energy. But spirit's not going to let them. Well, when you stand into divine masculine energy, you have to be a thousand percent honest, right? Um, authenticity and honesty is the way to live. That's how you align to spirit. That's how you align to your calling. If you're not honest with yourself, you get stuck. So, and what is that? The truth shall set you free. That's what I'm hearing. The truth shall set you free. So they still have a little bit of this karmic energy in themselves. That's why they're still there, that they need to, <laughs> that they have to balance an action very quickly. Okay. So they're, uh, they are aware of it, but they're trying to get away with it. But don't worry, this karmic energy that I'm feeling uh, is going to call them on it. 
this your person doesn't wants to stop fighting that's their intention they don't want to fight so they don't like confrontation they don't like fighting they're more um quiet they don't speak up for themselves so this is very difficult for your person that's what i'm getting yeah it's a big burden this is very hard for them to fate oh my god this is so sticky they're having a it's a lot of frustration here you know yeah they they need to move through it though spirit is like pushing them to passionately express themselves okay and to talk about this way too much clarify this eight of wands to go yeah so that they can move on okay so this is a lot of movement here so they are being pushed to do this to move into a peaceful place with their wishes what they want in their life and to stop fighting this okay with the karmic it is a big burden but they're at the end of this burden and i believe they are going to start making this uh justice i uh, karmic justice i feel like they're going to uh do this okay they want to win this because of this the victory and success like they want to win they're like i got this i'm gonna win this it's manning them up i'm getting like the lion king you know with simba finally standing there and claiming his land and saying and he had to go through all of that stuff you know before nala came and found him you know and then that awakened him to you know come back and to stand in his on his throne he's made the decision to do this he's made the decision to win over this entire karmic situation and um i'm gonna say to the viewer please be proud when this person returns okay they worked really hard okay yeah they're seeing through all of the illusions with this karmic energy so yeah really beautiful they're really um any final words for the karmic uh towards the karmic they're really um leveling up here okay yeah they're not giving to the situation okay so they're the last little bit here with your person is they gotta be really dead on us okay they're trying to sneak <laughs> but they can't you can't sneak you gotta be honest okay so they're trying but spirit's saying that's all part of it you have to kind of um go through those things so that they understand that when they come back to their divine counterpart that they are um going to be completely honest so this is part of their lesson okay to be as authentic as they possibly can all right so this is the energy now towards you the viewer so we have the ten of swords in reverse they know they have to clean up a trail with you they it's over and done with but they know they got to come and clean it up they are pers persevering, but they're blocked in their heart space because I feel they don't want to involve you in this mess. They're completely aware. They they know you're their happiness. They they're act they want to action this happiness. It is available to them and to you. But what's happening is they're very sad that they can't do this right now. But the outcome that they want with you is this beautiful union right and i was feeling union vibes right from the start you know so definitely they want this union with you which is really beautiful okay so let's take a look here what is going on they, they're afraid of this ending right they they're working through their dark night here this is the moon uh -huh. you have to walk through the valley of death they're ch they're charging through it guys they're charging through it. So this person is definitely moving through the dark night very quickly, moving through their stuff. They put their they put a halt on this with you because they, they don't want to involve you. That's really what I'm getting. They feel, um, so please try not to take it personally, so Spirit is saying that, okay? They don't want it to end with you. Clarify the death in reverse. They know it's causing a delay, but they truly have faith that if this is meant to be, that it's going to be. Yeah, they're, the delay is closing off the past. Okay, so this person is closing off the past. Let's see, what is this Ten of Swords towards the viewer? Yeah, see, they haven't risen yet, the, the Emperor in reverse. They know when they come into the Emperor mode, they're going to have to clean up this betrayal. They already have it in their mind. I think this reading is going to go very quick. It's very straightforward. They want to stop fighting with you. They don't want to fight anymore. They want this passionate new beginning with you. Okay, but they're keeping you safe. And that is what Divine Masculine does. They keep the feminine protected and safe from any karmic situations because the feminines are are get attacked all the time feminine the more you come into divine feminine the more you will get attacked i hate to say it you guys it is the way of divine feminine energy it is because we have been stifled for eons okay we have been killed we have been you know and that is the purpose of masculine energy is to ground and protect the feminine so they can be that pure channel from spirit to bring down the calling so here's they they are completely aware that they're opening up they have made a decision they are not juggling this anymore okay they know they have to come clean they want to open up to the viewer 
They are persevering in the heart. They are still a little blocked, but that's only because of what's happening with the karmic energies, okay? They are really, they want the spiritual calling with you, okay? Yeah, look at this. They want to offer two pages, page of pentacles and page of wands. They want to offer something passionate. They want the spiritual calling with you. They want to start something new with you. But look at this. They're stuck because they have to still speak their truth, right? They, uh, they are going to communicate. Once they clear this up, they are going to communicate with you. Look at this. <laughs> In the same position, seven of swords. They're in separation with you and because they're healing because of the seven of swords, because they're not being completely honest. And we saw that with the karmic. They have to learn. That's their last little bit of, of, of um, lesson, their earth lessons before they can ascend to this higher love is because they've got to just say it. Okay. As scared as they are, I know it's hard, but they have to just say it. Okay. They can't sneak around anymore. And spirit is getting them very focused on that. So that when they come back to you, like they're not... They're not, they're going to, they know they're going to be like, oh, okay, I learned my lesson. I have to speak the truth. Okay. This person tries to, I see, be sneaky and move around energy all the time so that they don't have to face it. And spirit's like, you can't do that anymore. Masculine energy can't do that. You have to be very dead honest. Okay. So that's their, that's their final lesson. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, what I'm also getting here is they're sad about it. That's their intention. They're sad. They want the Ten of Cups. You are the Ten of Cups. It's at a distance right now. And we know why, because we've just been reading it. So yeah, see, they're not actioning it. The King of Wands in reverse. They've pulled away. They're in hermit mode. They're gaining their courage. They have the courage. Okay, but they can't. Look at this. They know that the Divine Feminine, this is the heart. They're gaining courage to come towards Divine Feminine energy. Okay, she's at a distance right now. Nothing is birthing yet, so they are completely aware that this Ten of Cups is their happiness with the feminine, but they're not actioning it because they're, they've pulled away, they're going within, they're doing the work because they're, they're dealing with all this other stuff with the karmic, right? So, final with the lovers. Divine Feminine, okay? They know that they, they, they canceled this contract with you, Divine Feminine. They know that they didn't follow through on this contract with you, okay? You guys have a contract. That's why fate is not turning. That's what I'm getting here. That they did not, yeah. Look at this. Things aren't manifesting, right, in their life here. It's not going to happen. The, the high priestess is here that they're, you know, they're trying to heal uh, things that are hidden, things that they're afraid of, things that... Um, yeah, and that's the communication piece, but you are the wish, okay? So they're still working on that piece, but they are completely aware. I don't think they're they're that far behind. Um, clarify here what, um, yeah, clarify the, the high priestess. What else are they hiding here? Yeah, they're trying to end the conflict. So that's why they're not being completely open with, with the viewer. Yeah, they're trying to end the conflict in a in a situation that has a solid foundation. It could be a, a marriage or a commitment, okay, that they're dealing with with the karmic energy. So that's why they're not coming forward. They they know that they need to be single out of this marriage card, okay? Ten of Pentacles. They know that they need to be single before they come to you, the viewer, okay? All right. So that is what your person is dealing with. Wow, that just came flying out. So it says you're not alone. All right. So your person may be feeling very alone in this right now, <clears throat> but they definitely, I keep getting throat chakra stuff with your person. So they know that they want to communicate. I feel that they want to come through and communicate. Let's ask, is this person going to communicate with Paul Four? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. The fool in reverse. Okay. So they're still at a place where it's, you know, they can't quite um, start anything new. They want to come fresh. To, to you pile four okay they want to come clean and fresh with nothing um from the past okay so let's see what is uh some healing messages for pile four let me make sure it's still recording thank you yeah still recording so what are some healing messages for pile four spirit what are some healing messages for pile four thank you I feel a lot of you are star seeds in this group as well, too. Okay. Healing messages for pile four. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the first one. 
perception, change your perception about what's going on in this. Can focus on yourself, okay? Change your view of your situation, Spirit is saying. This person does not want to hurt you. This person doesn't want to bring toxicity into your life. This person feels like they're protecting you by staying far away, right? <laughs> but they're watching you from far away. <laughs> um, so they're dealing with a lot of stuff. They're, and, and this last piece of their communication and to honestly communicate is um, because they've got everything else down. They know what they want, right? But now they just gotta, they just gotta spill the beans, right? Yeah, and I'm sorry. This person is very sorry, okay? Defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. They will do this, okay? Spirit wants you to know this. So know that this is happening, that you both are gonna come into a place of forgiveness as well, okay? And so Spirit wants you to go deeper, pa, uh, pa for viewers. Uh, in regards to forgiving and letting everything just uproot from the past, letting it all go, okay, and um, gaining a new perspective on your situation, okay? All right, you guys, if you like that, I would love to hear your comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sending you so much love if you'd like to work with me or come to Mexico, do some uh, ceremonies with me. <laughs> We're running one in February. Uh, if you'd like to get on the list for that, send me an email. Anyways, I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Bye, guys.